Well, casinos in Maryland are now open following the pandemic shutdown, and a recent report released by state gaming and lottery officials reveals how Maryland's six casinos have managed since recently reopening their doors. Amy Kawada breaks down the numbers for us. If you step into a casino these days, it's going to look a lot different now than it was before the pandemic. We think it's important, first of all, to be uh, to focus on, on safety first and then allow the casinos to reopen gradually. After a three-month closure due to COVID-19, Maryland's six casinos began welcoming back guests in June at 50% capacity with new safety protocols in place, including face masks, temperature screenings, and enforcing social distancing on the gaming floor. But it's a totally new normal. With nearly a month of reopening its doors, casino revenue is significantly down compared to last year. Across the state, revenue declined by more than 27% over the previous fiscal year. We'll probably be something like $190 million less than we were last year, where we did about a billion three in uh, total uh, uh, aid to, uh, to, to the state of Maryland. In June, Maryland's six casinos generated nearly $35 million and contributed more than $14 million to the state. That's far less than the $143 million made in June last year and the $60 million sent to the state. So this year will probably be a billion one, something like that. It's unclear when casinos might see a complete return to business. We're certainly looking forward to a number of new initiatives. Uh, we hope sports betting, for example, will be coming uh, by year end when the referendum takes place. Amy Kawada for WJZ.